What's going on, everybody? It's your boy George from JP Custom Inc. And I know it's been a while since I've done one of these type of videos uh, for the channel, but I'm currently working on a sublimation uh, mug, which actually the mug is heat sensitive. So if you're drinking tea or if you're drinking uh, coffee or even soup or anything that's warm, uh, the mug is actually black and it'll change as soon as you add a uh, warm liquid. Now the mug will change color and it'll show you the design. So what I'm going to do today is uh, this might be a long video, um, but, but that's OK. I've, I haven't done one of these in a while, so that's OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, design a. Um, mug for someone who's been a sub to my uh, Twitch channel for one year straight. So uh, I got two uh, two people that I'm going to do something for. Uh, so the first one is Gabby. Uh, she's been uh, a sub of mine for one year on Twitch. And by the way, if you want to see me stream video games, go to CV Tech one on Twitch. I also stream there. All right. And I know she likes butterflies, so we're going to get a butterfly. And I also know that she likes purple. So we got a purple butterfly there. These are some of the things that we're going to be working with. I'm going to show you how I quickly can get these things started. And what you see right here on the left hand side, right above my head, this is my actual template. I have it to the size that of the mug that I use. Um, so you can download this template uh, on Google. But the thing is, you have to make sure you size it to what mug you have. If it's an 11, 20, uh, whatever uh, size you have, just make sure you go ahead and do that. Um, so this butterfly here, this I don't really have to do much to it. Um, because it's, uh, basically ready to go. So I don't have to do too much to this. I can just leave that how it is. So what I'm going to do is I want to use one of these hearts. So what I'm going to do is use my select tool. I'm going to trace an area. So I'm just going to highlight that. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better. And I'm going to get the threshold a little bit higher. I'm going to go to trace and detach. What that does, it detaches what I need. Now I have a heart. It's got a little white, white border around it. All right, so that's fine. So I want to make it red because I'm going to use that. I can delete this because all I need is the, um, all I need is the heart. So we got the heart that I need. We have the butterfly that I need. Okay. Now we have my logo, which is my streaming logo or my Twitch logo. So I'm going to put that one side of the mug. This is going to go on one side of the mug and I'm going to use the heart. So what we need to do now, um, I got a little same that I'm going to write. Uh, make sure I click that. So this is what I'm going to write. You'll never know how, but I want to make it three. I want to do three lines where it's going to go like right above that. All right, so we're going to do another one. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll never know how far you'll go. No, you don't know how far you'll fly. I'm getting ahead of myself. If you Never sped 
your wings. And by the way, it I know some of you guys might, might be thinking, sped? You mean spread? But sped is just a fancy way of also saying the same thing. So we have that. We want this to be black. Okay. We want this to be black. And I'm showing you the whole the whole thing uh, just in case there's some, you know, people just starting out and they want and they're using the silhouette studio. This is a good practice. So I don't mind leaving all these stuff in. No editing. What I like to do, I like to make this bold. I want to make it bold so that way you can see it on the mug. Hmm. It's not too bad. I don't want to go too fancy with 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 that. I think this would be fine. Okay. So we have that. Um, I kinda make that just a little bit bigger. I think that will do. So I have that. That's gonna be it's gonna go this way. Um, I know it looks kind of weird, but we're gonna we're gonna get there. So just, just be patient. The next thing we want to do is her name. So her name, what we want to do, we can make it a little bit fancier. And by the way, uh, as far as like font, you could just download a bunch of fonts for free. Uh, and there's also paid one. I have a few paid ones, especially the ones that I really like. Um, but there's, there's tons of like free ones you can use as well. Just make sure you read the description. Um, the person that made it will probably say, hey, you know, don't use my font if you're selling something or don't use my, you can use it for like, you know, for yourself or something like that. But if you're selling to make money, it's nice to um, show love and support to the creator of that font. I've done that a few times, so. Uh, I don't know if I have any cursive, like I want a nice cursive one, but, uh, I did, I did just recently install this. So it's probably why I don't have it because I did have like close to 200 different fonts. Yeah. I feel like, uh, had it before I like a cursive but like you want to be able to you want to be able to read it as well we'll go with this it's, it's not fancy fancy but it'll do okay so now we just have to uh, get it to size okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink everything here we need it to size it up it's gonna zoom in here this is also a template that i've done um i kind of like to use both uh i'll show you what i mean so i already know this is one size of a mug because i've used this before and then if i go up here on my on my template you can see how that fits right in the printing area. Uh, you you can make your design go down here. It's up to you. I I like it this way, but you can you can go ahead and make it as big as you want. Uh, and just because I've used this uh, on a mug before, so I like to use that as a template. Uh, I like to use that as a template as well. So something like that. I want that butterfly to be big. This might be the issue here. 
well, it's not an issue, but we can definitely, well, before I do that, before I do that, this is what I should have done. Uh, get as close as I can. So don't, don't ever forget to line them up. So I'm going to line them up center. I'm going to group it. And I can go a little bit bigger. That's okay. I know it's hard for you guys to kind of like see because of all that stuff in the back, but bear with me here. Okay, so I'm gonna move that. I can probably go a little bit smaller on the name. Smaller on the butterfly as well. And then what I'm gonna do is line it up, center everything. And what I can do is group it because I use this as my template. So what I can do is now I can size it up because I have it grouped. So that's how it's going to look on the mug. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I like where I have it. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this one. I'm going to hold shift. Click the other one. I'm going to make sure they're parallel to each other. Then I'm going to group. And there's my design. So if I go and put it on my template, that's how it's going to look. So I'm happy with that. So now I just got to add the heart. So right here, there's not going to be anything. I mean, I could probably put the heart just going down. You know, you can add whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to leave it blank this way. So when you drink, um, well, it depends on the left and right hand. So I got to find out if she's left handed or right handed. And that way I can do everything accordingly. So I'm just going to add the heart there. Just a little, little touch, add a little color, group everything. And all I have to do is send it to my printer and it is ready to go. All right, we uh, have the mug going already. It's got 30 seconds left on it. We have it at 390 degrees, 60 seconds. This is what the design looked like. I already have it on, but I just wanted to show you guys. That's what the design looked like after the print. And this is what the mug, mug looks like. It's actually just black and uh, once it's all finished and ready to go, I'll add some warm liquid and I'll show you what that looks like. So we got five seconds. Just give me a second here. So this is the mug. It's pretty hot, so you gotta be careful. I've done this plenty of times, but I'm still gonna be very, very careful peeling this. But because of the uh, video i'm gonna go ahead and just peel it now take the tape off and then from there just give it a smooth pull and that is your mug colors are beautiful that's one side and the other side you have my logo right now it's still pretty hot once it cools down the image actually looks better and I just want to say we, the ink that I use, the sublimation ink that I use is actually my own. And you can find it at www.jpcustominc.com. That's actually my own uh, sublimation ink. If you want to try it out, we have it on there. And um, once this cools off, we'll be back and I'll show you guys again how it, it, it looks and how uh, it works with warm liquid.